Hello, everyone. <clears throat> this is Mehdi Behravan. <clears throat> I'm going to present. It's my time, 2.30, LA time, 11.30. This is the first um, talk of this session. The first talk of mine is on characterizing ginseng effect on cell attachment using electric impedance measurement. This work is done at Converse University. Alejandro Martinez and Steffi Kohn worked with me on this project. <clears throat> if there is any issue with my voice or um, the screen, please inform me. I'm moving to the next stop. Oh, okay, there is, I'm sorry for a second, there is, an attendee. Okay. In this study, an impedance sensing system is used to measure and characterize real time changes in electric impedance with respect to an alternating current applied to normal and cancer cell colonies. The impedance data is related to the cell substrate to the cell properties such as cell spreading, attachment, and delamination. I'm going to pause for a second. We have, okay, great. Thank you for letting me know. I'm going to start again. Um, in this study, an impedance sensing system is used to measure and characterize the real-time changes in electric impedance with respect to an alternating current applied to normal and cancer cell colonies. The impedance data is related to the cell properties such as cell spreading, attachment, and delamination. Cell attachment is an important function of the epithelial cell and play an important role in the epithelial sheet formation in the epithelial sheet, cells both attach to adjacent cells and adhere to the extracellular matrix. A healthy attachment between epithelial cells is important in keeping the structure and lining of normal tissue. A cell with poor attachment can detach and enter into the body's fluid stream, which in cancer results in metastasis. More than 70% of cancers are epithelial in origin. Because of the aforementioned marks, we chose epithelial cells for this investigation. In this study, ginseng is chosen as an additive. Ginseng is an herbal medicine and contains steroid and sugar. It has been shown that ginseng has anti-cancer and anti-inflammatory effects. It improves mesenchymal cell attachment the health benefit of ginseng are attributed to its component ginsenoside. Main component of ginseng is ginsenoside. It was shown that ginsenoside RP1 suppress the cell growth of HeLa cells. Because of the shown benefit of ginseng, it is important to examine its effect on cell attachment. For the experiments, two cell lines were used, HACAT cells that are normal cells and A431 cells that are cancer cells. Both cell lines are human skin epithelial cells. For each cell line, we prepared an array with eight wells, of which four wells were controlled. You can see the array picture here. Four wells were control wells containing medium only or medium and ginseng. Ginseng and various concentration of 0 0.05, 0 0.01, and 0 0.02 milligram per ml was added after plating the cells and formation of a confluent layer. A confluent layer formation was confirmed by microscope image. For the measurements, an electric cell substrate impedance sensing system was used to examine the cell attachment in real time. A drawing of the measurement setup is shown in figure 1b here. An input signal is applied to the electrode at the bottom of the well. The output signal is measured from which the electric impedance is obtained. The electric impedance changes 
with cell attachment to the bottom of the well and to the adjacent cells. Figure two shows the cell morphology after plating cell into a well. Cell is initially spherical, then it spreads and start attaching over time, meaning formation of junction with adjacent cells and forming epithelial layer. The impedance, meaning resistance and capacitance in terms of frequency for both normal cell and cancer cell is obtained. The frequency response was used to determine the frequency at which the cell show a distinct behavior. The capacitance of normal cell and cancer cell, we can see it's more distinct at higher frequencies here. The capacitance for both normal cell and cancer cell, as we can see in the graph, it's invariant at low frequencies. We can also note that at higher frequency, after a three hour period, the capacitance increases. I'm sorry, the capacitance decreases here before the addition of ginseng, which is at 19 hour mark here. Now we can look at the frequency response of the resistance for normal cell and cancer cell. Normal cell and cancer cell show a distinct resistance, mostly at mid-range frequencies. And we can note that the resistance increases after the three hour startup period and before the ginseng addition at 90 hour mark here. The microscope images of the walls are taken at 20x magnification after running the experiment over a time span of 65 hours to confirm measure impedance is due to cell layer formation. We can see a confluent layer for both normal cell and cancer cell is observed in the left and right images for normal cell and cancer cell respectively. The resistance and capacitance data over a time span of 65 hours is shown in figure three and four respectively. We can see each graph has 16 line of data. These eight in the resistance graph, as you can see, they are controls. The same thing in capacitance data, you can see these eight lines that show the same behavior they are controls. Then for example, in resistant graph, you can see four line of data, they work together here. These are normal cell at over 19. You can see there is a spike and then basically following the same pattern together. The other four line that you can see here that goes to higher resistance, these are normal cell at 90 hours. Again, they show the drastic behavior, and then you can follow the pattern here, as you can see. Similarly, let's look at capacitance data, the four lines on the lower section of this graph capacitance data, these are cancer cells. After ginseng addition, you can see this significant, again, change, these four line, again, more or less follow the same behavior. And similarly for we can trace the four line almost for the normal cells. They follow these lines here, just saying addition and the four line basically show the same behavior and they come to a plateau again. Now to summarize all of this behavior, we can say the following, the increase in the resistance and decrease in the capacitance level to increase and decrease in the capacitance to new plateau levels at here, just the plateaus before ginseng addition is due to cell attachment and spreading. 
we can see a distinct behavior for the incidence of normal cell and cancer cell. And here is the distinct behavior can be seen. Cancer cell and normal cell. The impedance of cancer cell changes, as you can see here, at a faster rate and to a smaller capacitance and higher resistance at a faster rate compared with normal cell just after these three hours of start up and before testing addition. For normal cell colonies, ginseng, look at what it does. It initially increases the impedance, but shortly after the refresh, meaning the medium, they all come back, they all come back to an equilibrium level. The same thing can be seen for capacitance. For cancer cell, the resistance and the capacitance show the greater concentration of ginseng, meaning 0.02 milligram per ml, produce greater resistance and smaller CDs, greater resistance and smaller capacitance, but had little to no effect on normal cell colonies and controls as well, as you can see. The impedance change could be related to the steroid and sugar content of zinc. Thank you for listening.